For Life would like to thank all of our sponsors. Mountain View Guide Service. J3 Outdoors. Lennon's Lures. Wolf Creek Products. And PCS Outdoors. The Hague Spring Clip by J3 Outdoors. Simple, fast, efficient. Hey, well, welcome back to Fur Life. Uh, I'm your host, Brian Flowers. This week, we're gonna be in the state of Maine on my Martin and Fisher line. Uh, to show you the different techniques we have to use. And we have a couple little different exclusion devices we have to use because of the endangered lynx. I say uh, endangered because they're, they're, they're really getting ready to take it off the endangered species list. And, there's a good reason. There's a there's quite a big, quite a good population of them. So. What we're doing now today is I'm finishing up uh, bear camp. Uh, my clients went home yesterday, so uh, we got to take all to get all the tree stands out. So 80 plus tree stands. That's all I know what I'm going to be doing the next couple days. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, hope you enjoy the show. On this episode of Fur Life, Brian Flowers takes you back into the wilds of Maine, trapping Martin and Fisher. Well, here we are. This is this is ideal habitat for Martin and Fisher. You got a transition, heavy pines, got some hardwood and popple in this side here. We're right next to a, a road, so that's a a run, long running barrier and uh, what we're going to do here is set up our our boxes here so we can uh, this is a new way we have to do it here in Maine so it's an exclusion device so you cannot catch your lynx so what we're going to do is uh, bait this up and get it all ready to go I like to throw a few leaves in the bottom I think you might have less refusals because it's a little more piece of beaver in the back. We have uh, these are used mink lure or uh, or beaver caster, whatever. I also use uh, skunk up high. And I also use a trailing scent just to get them just so if they don't smell it or anything. A couple different directions. This one there, we used to take a stick. Put this beaver cat or the stone cat is up high so it travels. Mm -hmm. There you go, that's all set. 
I just blend it in. This is more for other trappers than the animals. They don't care about that, but I do think the leaves in the bottom makes a difference. All right, we're all set up. Go to the next set. All right, well, here we are right off the, the roads. Parallels us here. There's a clear cut right here. We got dense woods here again with uh, pine and hemlock and and spruce. So I got we want to do is stabilize this trap. It's up in the air here right now. So what we got to do is rearrange this so it's decent so you don't have any movement whatsoever. I'll definitely take my triggers, take my safeties off. Just put some leaves in the bottom, make it feel like it's part of the part of the surroundings, so it doesn't look as bad. I uh, don't know if it helps or not, but I'm gonna lure it up. Get a little bit of trailing scent, just in case they. I mean, a skunk. They're gonna smell it. Might a skunk, but just in case the wind's blowing the wrong way. Now what we want to do is we put our skunk up high. That's what's that's what they're gonna bring them in from a long distance. There we go. It's all baited up. Ready to go. We're going to the next one. Might be hard to see, but you can see his tail just sticking out the back. Okay. Yeah. Yep. The first one in this time kind of style box. Now I gotta watch it. The rain. Oh yeah. Beautiful, right by the head. That's the way it ought to be. They all ought to be yep. like that. That would be dynamite. Yeah, right around the jaw. Yep. Good. Well, rain's, dark. Rain's picking up. Yeah, these is a little darker. Have oh, you got a lot of orange on his yep. blaze? Oh yeah. Yep. He never moved. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna get this camera out of the rain. Yep. Nice. Boxes are working. Here we are. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah, another Martin. Here's Brian. Brian Flowers taking a Martin out of a exclusion device box that has to be used here in northern Maine. He hasn't been gone long. Look at these. Look, nice big male Martin. Yep. Using Duke 155 Connie Bears. Or oh, body gripping traps, excuse me. A lot of Martin out there this year. <clears throat> really, look at the colors. Real pretty. And he got through that. He's in. Yep. In through the belly belly wire. Boy, it's just you cannot believe. What Unbelievable they, what they can get through. What they can fit in. He's got his head through the through the belly wire. And his front and his two front legs. Through that belly wire. Look at that. Wow. And that's a lot of times too is when we're in the when if it was really like really cold, sometimes it is. We'd have actually just bring an extra trap with us because a lot of times you'll damage the fur taking these things out. Because then the critter will be frozen in. But he didn't get our bait, so we're just gonna put her back. Yep. I want to. The... 
a little more hassle with these exclusion devices, but as you see, they do work. So we just had to modify them. Started last year. Basically, I just set it in there like that. Yeah, we put a little leaves on the bottom of the wire because the Martin don't seem to like to walk on the wire. Yeah. Nope. Then I lock the trap in. Yep. There. Now we gotta. He's gonna finish putting up the set, and before we leave the trap site, we have to put a tag on the Martin on us before we can walk out of the woods with it. And there you go. Put a little bit more lure in here. We're good. Hurts, helps, or anything, but you just usually put a little bit of caster right on the top, right in the front. Get skunk. Ah. Let me see them over here. Usually my stick's up. <clears throat> so we didn't have to, now we have to make sure that you actually tag the animal before you leave the woods. Because right. they could get you could get pinched for it. If you by law, you're supposed to put the tag on it. Yep, right at the right, right at the at site. The kill site. Yep. Well. Since this is the election day, <laughs> the day we, we say goodbye to Hillary. <laughs> It's going to be a good day. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's going to be a, a good year. Day. It's going to be the next four years is going to be good. All right, take him up and head on to the next one. We didn't want to show the monkey with a football, so we got this thing out. But yeah, he's what? It's six thirty, not even. Yep. And he's still limp, so he just got caught. But there's these, this is that new exclusion device. I tested them out. It's a wooden box. There's a trap now, it has to be 18 inches back. Minimum. Fully closed. Yep. This one here is actually for a fisher, because it has a baffle, so that it has a side entrance. You can see, yeah, you can't really see it in there, but. Maybe we'll show Brian will show how we set the thing up. Oops. Yep, that'll work. Okay. Yeah, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Just have it hinged on the bottom. You set your trap, and then you close it. And he's got a belly wire on his, on all his yep. body grips. Well, that's good. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm expecting to see a weasel. Beautiful animals. Beautiful. Well, fur it up nice. You gotta get that's a still photo of that. Yeah. Yep, that's why we're here. Yep. For the Martin and Fisher. And nice adult male. We're in Pretty. Smack, yep. Putting the smack He's down on some, and the pink. some beaver. And that's basically what we're using for bait is the beaver that we're catching. Yeah, it's great. Okay. Now I gotta tag him. Yep, now you have to, now by law, we have to tag that before we leave the woods. Yep. Okay. Here we are, we're right off the, well, say about 50 yards off the road. Stream's right there. Got a couple beaver sets in the stream. I'm gonna set this up for Martin, Martin and Fisher. We have these, these exclusion devices now that Maine changed the laws because of the, because of the incidental catches on links and what have you, so 
trap has to be eight, 18 inches back. We used to be able to do just like a leaning pole set and we just use them in my newspaper boxes. But now we ended up having to put this exclusion device. It has to have a four inch opening, 18 inches back. So it makes a little, so you end up making a bunch of these ahead of time. And it just takes a little bit more to get everything out. But a little bit of trailing scent. I always use trailing scent. And of course our skunk up high. You get to get it into wind currents. Need smell a vision. Okay. It's all set. Really, I just put some stuff around it, and it's really not for animals, it's for for other people, trappers. So we come back and our gear's not going. We'll see what happens. Okay, here we are. Beautiful, beautiful, real thick forest. Pines, hemlock, a little bit of hardwoods. I don't know, just put this in the other day, didn't have any uh, leaves in the bottom just to make it a little more convincing to go in. But, uh, just have to relure this. We got a stream right here. Got a path right there, snowmobile trail, we're over a bridge. So you have like two points, it's a nice big funnel. So, uh, should be a good area. Um, just have to check, maybe go on to the next one. <coughs> okay. That's got, why we're here. Look at that. We got into Isn't that beautiful? He must have bit the bait and pulled the bait on the bait before I, I put it way in the back. Oh, that's a large male. Yep. Isn't he nice? Yep, nice male. Yep. Oh. Nice pine marten. North. Oh, North Main Woods. Oh, I hate these things. That's it. Whatever. But a big hefty 220 Bell Isle body gripper. Yeah. They are stout. Yeah, they are. Give me the oh, I hate these things. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they they do work. Oh they, they do shut. work. I and mean, they, they shut tighter than everything, but yeah, they're tough they to get set. Sucks when they've got to come to set them. And the setters are in the truck. Yep. I can already tell by the smile on his face that we got something. And it looks like a fisher. It is a fisher. That is awesome. Beautiful. That is nice. You get all the bait? Nope. Nope. Just uh, so that just goes to show the exclusion devices. They do work. They do work. And a 160. Yep. Okay, just another location. This this is actually a bear bait. That some of the hunters had said that they seen Martin or Fisher come in there while they were deer or uh, bear hunting. So what we did is we set this. We have a uh, our exclusion device there for Martin and Fisher. We also have a weasel box there. And uh, same thing, long running barrier. We the road, dense forest, everything ideal for what they want to use for uh, the spray, you know, prey, um, prey species. The uh, the vole. And the mice and the squirrels they eat. And uh, we checked these. Nothing here today, so uh, we're going to the next one. Oh, yeah, I'm the uh, I'm the new I'm the owner of uh, 
Mountain View Guide Service here in Maine. And uh, uh, the owner of Fur Life TV also. So we're up here. Uh, we have we have nine hunters in this week. We average about 10, at least 10, 12 hunters every week for the, for the month of uh, baiting, baiting season. And then I'll take a couple and we'll book some trips towards the end there with uh, for trapping and stuff like that. So you can't hunt over bait no more, but you can harvest your bear. Uh, it's a little harder, but um, like I said that's pretty cool. That's the third one I've seen this year, and actually I finally got a chance to, to film one. So we're gonna take a couple more pictures of him, and then we're gonna get out of here. And he said uh, we got a pretty darn good success rate this year. We got a lot of guys that have come year after year. And they they want something bigger than a 200, 200 pound bear, you know, so they're just sort of trophy hunting. And we give them, uh, each hunter gets two active baits, which we guarantee. Uh, we can't guarantee that you're going to harvest one, but you're definitely going to see some bears. And we got lots of bears up here. We got a big area. And we put the, put your groceries right to them, and it keeps them in. Like I said, Monday's uh, first first uh, day of uh, dog season so it gets a little tougher here on out but we'll see what happens we're gonna take some pictures of him before I run out of before I run out of battery how you doing buddy all right I got a few more stands to change so I'm gonna get out of here you have yourself a good day. Maybe we'll see you next year. <laughs> That's pretty cool. For Life would like to thank all of our sponsors. Mountain View Guide Service. J3 Outdoors. Lennon's Lures. Wolf Creek Products. And PCS Outdoors. The Hag Spring Clip by J3 Outdoors. Simple, fast, efficient.